So this coming weekend, only though, McMurray University Theater is presenting Constellations. It's a spellbinding romantic journey, raising questions about the difference between choice and destiny. So here with us now, director Carrie Goff, Maddie Melbourne, and Babak Akavan. Welcome, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So you guys, Constellations is um, something that you saw, Carrie, we were talking about mm -hmm. before the show, something you saw in San Antonio, fell in love with the, mm -hmm. the, with the plot line and the storyline, and you've brought it to Abilene, and it, this curtain goes up this weekend. It does. I think this is a regional premiere for Abilene. I don't think this play's been done before. Wow. Uh, and it's a beautiful story. It's, it is truly a captivating love story. But the premise is the kind of multiverse theory, which is what if all these different massive moments in our lives, what if they, what if we replayed those moments over and over, but they go a little bit different every time we replay them? What would our lives be like? And these are our love interests. Okay, so when you talk about that and, and the different, the different outcomes you can have, mm -hmm. truly uh, the difference between destiny and choices, and we think, oh, mm -hmm. well, I was destined, it was fate, it was serendipity that brought us together. Mm -hmm. But what if you arrived just 10 minutes later to that coffee shop and they weren't there. Or right. what if that green light turned red and you weren't able to make the next light? Yes. So it's interesting how this can certainly have a, a broad range impact and how our choices actually dictate our destiny, but mm -hmm. you just never really know. So you guys, Maddie and Bobak, you are the star, the leads of the show, <laughs> and we get to see di several different um, variations of how the story could possibly go. Yes. yes. Yes, you do. It's an astrophysicist and a beekeeper and their love story. Their bizarre, very quirky, funny, yeah. sad mm -hmm. story. Yes. <laughs> okay, so when we think of a love story, we want it to be happy and you know happily ever at after and you know never never endings, but that's not necessarily real life. No. And you're going to deal with some other topics and some other issues that right. couples face. Yeah. Illness. Yes, and there's some very heavy topics within the show, but it all is handled very well and. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just an interesting way to think about if you change one small thing, one small action, what what follows? What what massive events in your life would change from that? So mm -hmm. it's a very beautiful show. Very nice. <laughs> There's multiple different outcomes with every different scenario that we are faced with and it's a very nice life lesson show. So <laughs> you're playing a beekeeper? Yes. <laughs> something you do in your everyday life or that's a <laughs> kind of a <laughs> detour <laughs> honestly it's really fun playing a beekeeper because now like my character is very quirky he knows a lot of little like facts about bees and he just spits them out there in the play and i'm just like wow i, I didn't even know about that <laughs> all the things you're learning just in that way yeah. uh, of course maddie you said your character is an astrophysicist, an astrophysicist at sussex university <laughs> okay. so, so it's a british play one. it's a british play yes. got it we, we love we love the, the british humor and sometimes <laughs> though sometimes it is a little darker humor as yes. well though and that's some yeah. of the things you all are going to be facing <laughs> I'm going to give away the plot lines, but mm -hmm. what is it like to perform a show? Most of us know where the beginning, the middle, and the ending is, but then to have to go back and repeat and change just some subtleties. Ah, What's that like? It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much, um, it was a little difficult when, in the rehearsal process, but when you yeah. go over it again and again, you slowly start to get it, and it's actually, a, it really makes a lot of sense, and it's such an incredible experience. It really is. Movie. It's yeah. a very unique Difficult, but unique. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> Repetition is key. Yeah. Repetition. To, oh. to play <laughs> these scenes, because every time we ch transition, we start at a different part of the stage. So they walk to a new part, play it out, walk to a new part, play it out, walk to a new part. So the staging's oh. been really fun. Terry, <laughs> if, if you had to go back and make, make just one or two little changes, would you? No. Not for this show. No, it, this has <laughs> it's been. It's working out exactly the way it, you you would it's want. It's been it. one of my finest directing experiences. They've been wonderful, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Well, it sounds very, very intriguing. It sounds like the rest of us have a little bit of personal experience when we you know, make just one different choice in our life. The mm -hmm. outcome can be drastically different. So we're going to see that in this uh, love story of constellations. Yes. yes. Thank yeah. you so much for bringing Thank us you. to uh, the Key City, the Big Country's premiere of the show here. So uh, mm -hmm. go see a few more shows and keep bringing them back. I will. <laughs> Both of you as well. Break a leg this coming weekend. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. The rest, if you would like to see Constellations, it is at McMurray University in the Ryan Little Theater. That play only runs November the 18th through the 20th, one weekend only at 7.30. There will be a Sunday matinee November 21st at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 for general admission, 8 for military and seniors, and 5 for McMurray students and employees.